Hello and welcome to MapLine. In this video, we'll cover how to create a heat map. Let's begin. The first thing you want to do is open your map. Once your map is loaded, you'll want to open the settings for one of your data sets. I want to heat map my customer data, so I'll come to the sidebar here and open the menu for my data set. I can also do this by right clicking on the data set name. Once I've opened my menu, I'll want to select the heat map option. This will open the dialog box that allows me to configure my heat map settings. The top option allows me to determine what I would like to apply my heat to. I can either choose areas around pins or overlapping radius areas. I'm going to select areas around pins. The next option allows me to determine the radius used in the heat calculation. I can key in a different number here, and I can change the unit by selecting this dropdown. Once I've determined the correct size, I can choose whether I would like to base my heat map on location density or dataset values. Location density will calculate the heat map based on how close the pins are together. Dataset values will allow me to use a column from my spreadsheet to determine heat map intensity. If I select dataset values, additional options will become available, allowing me to choose which column I would like to base my heat map off of, as well as if I would like to order my heat map based on low to high numbers or high to low numbers. The rest of the options apply to the heat map styling. I can set my opacity, change my blur percentage, decide whether or not I would like to fade the edges of the heat map, and decide whether or not I would like to include a legend in the bottom right corner of my map. Once everything looks good, I'll simply select OK. And now we can see our heat map. If at any point I would like to remove the heat map styling, I can do so by opening the menu again, selecting heat map, and selecting the remove option at the bottom. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out.